Hello everyone, my name is Mark, and welcome to Mark Said Art. Today we're diving into the world of dinos. Not that dino, this dino. But before we jump in, I wanted to show you this beautiful painting. The artist starts at one section and basically completes it before moving on. My approach? More like Homer Simpson applying makeup. Close your eyes, Marge! And now you're ready for a night on the town. <gasps> Homer, you've got it set on whore. Dad, women won't like being shot in the face. Women will like what I tell them to like. So to kick things off, I'm changing their poses, making a mannequin reference clip studio paint. No sponsor here, folks. I just really like them. Plus, I can make the mannequins as tall as 2B and 9S, which is fan freaking tastic. In this first stage, I'm just slapping down paint like a frosting a cake. It might look like a toddler's masterpiece, but that's okay. This is the total opposite of the oil painting we admired earlier. I'm just exploring how colors and shapes feel, creating a rough underpainting to refine later. You might have noticed that 2B had her arm around 9S, while I paint over that pretty quickly. This is why I keep things messy at the start. I lack the commitment to make it perfect early on. I prefer an ugly duckling painting that I can transform later. I call this the caterpillar stage, just like people, paintings have them too, or at least mine do. I will be a beautiful butterfly, and then everything will be better. Even though this is a study, I'm not stressing about making it look exactly like the original. I think of studies like learning to write. Master the spelling, rules, and grammar, but develop your own handwriting. Your unique style is your signature in art. Alright, thanks for sticking around to the end. Likes and subs are always a great way to say thanks. And now, here's the finished painting, all cleaned up and varnished. Hopefully we catch you guys next time.